Right, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction. Today we have you are immune against every disease. This is going to be an interesting video. We're going to learn a little bit about the human bodies and stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's just straight into this one, man. You're not a person. You're a planet okay. made of roughly 40 trillion cells. There is so much of you that if your cells were human-sized, you'd be as big as 20 Mount Everests. Holy shit. For your creepy, crawly inhabitants, oh. this makes your body an ecosystem rich in resources and warmth and space. A perfect place to move into and have a family. While some of these guests are welcome, most are not. Your immune system is the guardian of this planet, the force tasked with protecting yourself against the constant danger of invasion. Right, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a good one, I can tell. the tiny world have a huge advantage. I, I know where we're going with this, man. We're, 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 it's going to be like the ant video. This is going to be like some goddamn disease battle going off, some disease war. Let's get it, bro. Let's get it. Consider the effort it takes to make a single copy of yourself and your trillions of cells. First, you need to find someone who thinks you're oh, don't cute, don't date enough. and be awkward. And if things work out in a complicated dance, two of your cells ah. merge together. Then you need to wait for months while the cell multiplies over and over until it's released into the world as a human being. It's actually crazy how, like, we can do that. Our bodies can do that, isn't it? And even then, you only have a mini copy that needs years to become remotely useful. A bacterium <laughs> consists of one cell. It can make a fully grown copy in about half an hour. A oh, virus sick. can turn into hundreds within hours and billions within days. Oh, nice. Your enemies multiply orders of magnitude faster than you. Even worse, for a bacterium or virus, your body is a hostile ecosystem applying selective pressure. Because they go through so many generations so quickly, eventually, by pure chance, there will be an individual that mutates and adapts in just the right way to resist your defenses and then multiply quickly again. In other words, you're facing a sheer endless variety of different enemies and you're too slow to keep up with their evolution. All right, so according to this, how are we all surviving then? Right, how? This is bad. Luckily, your immune system is just about the most amazing thing ever. The second most complex right, biological how. system known to us after the human brain, and so sophisticated that we still haven't discovered all its secrets. Since it's so complicated, we have to simplify and focus on one thing at a time. If you want the full story, wait for the announcement at the end of the video. Okay, so why are we not all killed? Oh, damn, they've released a whole goddamn book on this. ...by some new bacteria or virus. In a nutshell, you actually have two immune systems, the innate and the adaptive immune system. Right. The innate immune system was ready when you were born. It mostly consists of general purpose soldiers. We introduced them in the last immune video. The adapt So the NA is the starter pack that you get from being born and the adaptive is like the DLC you get in the you know later on in life. The immune system carries two types of cells, T cells and B cells that are your super weapons and are incredibly effective and deadly for your enemies. These cells are complicated to produce and take a lot of time to deploy, but once they're ready, they pack a real punch. What makes your adaptive immune system so powerful is that it has the largest library in the universe. It has an answer to everything. You have at least right. one of these super weapon cells inside you All to right. fight the black. So, you know, if I need a question like 362,000 times 690, uh, 692 divided by 67 times 67 to the power of 5. Right? Can I can I ask that that question and they'll answer it for me? Back death, <laughs> we'll the do coronavirus, that. and the first deadly bacteria that will emerge in a city on Mars in 100 years. This makes it possible for you to counter the ability of bacteria and viruses to change so rapidly. How is this possible? To understand what's going on here, we need to take one step back. All organisms on Earth are made from the same basic parts, mostly proteins. Proteins are the building blocks of life and can have billions of different shapes. You can imagine them as 3D puzzle pieces. 
there are billions of different puzzle pieces your enemies can use to construct their bodies. Why is this important? Because proteins are, in a way, the language of the micro world. Cells don't have eyes or ears, so to tell friend from foe, they have to touch them and recognize if. Do you know what's crazy? Like, from watching this and stuff, you can actually, like, picture it now. When you actually think about, like, your cells and stuff happening in your body, it's actually crazy to think that, like, what's going on. So, like, you as a person right now, you're there, right? And you look at yourself, you're there. But inside your body, this is happening. Living things is, like, going to war with each other. You got you got cells protecting your body. You got cells destroying your body. At war, it's it's if crazy. If their protein man. is part of it's a crazy. friend or part of an enemy, recognizing means that cells have countless tiny devices called receptors that are able to connect with a specific protein puzzle piece. So your cells have tiny puzzle pieces on their outsides that are able to click together this, like, or this recognize is what makes other us... protein puzzle pieces. When a cell connects together with a protein and recognizes it as enemy, it knows that it has to attack. Only if your cells can make this distinction between friend or foe is your immune system able to fight an invader. But since there are billions of possible protein puzzle pieces, this means there are billions of possible enemy puzzle pieces. This is also one of the reasons we still have to deal with diseases like the flu each year. The influenza virus mutates very rapidly, and so the proteins that make up its hull constantly change a tiny bit. The soldiers of your innate immune system have a large number of the puzzle pieces for common bacteria and viruses memorized. Uh, no, That's no, why no, they no, are no, your no. all-purpose weapons. But they Let are again, ineffective through, against many billions of mutations and adaptations that your enemies can develop. So the reason you are still alive is that your adaptive immune system is able to recognize between 1 billion and 10 billion different enemy protein puzzle pieces, which what is enough fuck? to be prepared for every possible enemy. But how is this possible? How could your immune system yeah, that's possibly have mad. this much of a variety to be prepared for every possible protein that's puzzle piece? That's kind of mad, how? Well, the cells of your adaptive immune system found a cheat code, mixing and matching their own genetic code to create this stunning variety of receptors. The details are way too complicated for this video, but in a nutshell, your adaptive immune cells have official permission to take a tiny part of their own genetic code and mix it in random ways to create billions of different receptors. A good way to explain this is by asking you to imagine an army of cooks, with each of them wanting their own special recipe. They have 100 different ingredients to choose from. Each ingredient stands for one tiny piece of genetic code in this metaphor. So each cook takes a few random ingredients and randomly mixes them together. Maybe tomato, chicken, rice and half an onion as entree, marshmallow, pepper, strawberries and a quarter banana as a dessert. Or cucumber, beef, potatoes and two carrots, and blueberries, chocolate and cream with a pinch of cinnamon. Even with slight variation and with only 100 ingredients, there are billions of possible recipes. And likewise, with just a small selection of gene fragments, right, okay, your cells sense. create billions of receptors. The details of this are so cool that they should get their own video or their own chapter in a book. But I thought like diseases had like similar. Like, you had to see the difference between a, a a bad cell and a good cell, right? And I'm sure there was like they have similar cells. So how can you just like take a piece of the cell? I don't fucking know, bro. This, In any case, this, by it, mixing it's up too, like, advanced. you get up to it's 10 too billion different combinations. So in the end, you get billions of immune cells, and each of them has one specific and unique receptor, the dish from our metaphor, that is able to recognize one specific protein puzzle piece. In total, you end up with at least one cell for every enemy that could possibly exist. But here we run into a pretty dangerous problem. If your adaptive immune system is making weapons that can attack every possible protein puzzle piece in the universe, wouldn't it also make some that can attack your own cells? That's literally what I was, about, what I was saying. Oh my God, I do this every single video. I, 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 you know what? It's, it's, it's just, someone said in the comment section, it's because I'm paying attention. I'm just paying attention. <laughs>
<laughs> but that's what I was saying. Is it not going to, like, attack your own cells? Yes, it happens all the time. This is so fundamentally dangerous to your survival that you have a whole organ that does nothing but work on preventing this. The murder university of your thymus. Your thymus is a chicken wing sized organ above your heart and you've probably never uh, heard of it. Uh, Interestingly, your thymus is one of the reasons why your immune system weakens as you age because it's in a constant state of decline once you reach puberty. But what does the thymus do? What the fuck? In your murder university, your immune system is putting your adaptive immune cells through an intense and deadly curriculum. Basically, it's showing them all sorts of protein puzzle pieces that are used by your own cells to see how they react. When a young cell recognizes a body puzzle piece and wants to attack it, the teacher's cells order them to kill themselves and they are eaten up and recycled. The immune system is so particular about this process that around 98% of your adaptive immune cells that enter Murder University die there. 2% graduate and get to do their job of protecting you for real. If this process goes wrong and the cells escape that can recognize your own protein puzzle pieces, this can lead to autoimmune disease, where your immune system attacks your own body from the inside. What the and this, fuck? again, is another story for another time. Okay, what? let's summarize. Bro, that sounds so fucking scary, bro. What the fuck? Your immune system has two parts, one that defends you right after birth, and one that carries the largest library of super weapons in the universe, but needs to boot up first. Since that's like an organ, right? Let's say someone took the organ out, their body would just like collapse and the immune will literally like destroy them from the inside out. Has that not ever happened before? To create billions of different super because weapons, organs can your fail. adaptive immune cells recombine a part of their genetic code to create a breathtaking variety of attack weapons. Very then they by, enter uh, a murder what was it called, university the that only 2% survive to make sure they don't attack you. And then you end up with billions of different cells that in total are able to protect you against every possible enemy in the universe. Now, wait a second. If this is all true, why do we get sick at all? Why was a new disease like COVID-19 able to kill millions of people? And how do vaccines boost the mechanisms we explained in this video to supercharge your immune system and defend you from the worst diseases humanity has ever encountered from smallpox to COVID-19? Well, everything we've just learned about is sleep, a but... tiny, tiny window into the amazing struggle for life and death that plays out every day inside your body and there are so many amazing details and questions here. Fucking How does your mad. body actually find the right cell in time to protect you? How do your enemies fight back and overcome your immune system anyway? And what about all the things that didn't fit in this video? Well, today finally marks the release of Immune, a journey into the mysterious... That is crazy. What an amazing video. It's so interesting. It's actually just, it blows my mind to like how advanced our bodies are. And like how crazy it is actually, you know, underneath the skin and inside our bodies. What's going on? It's a goddamn war constantly. Yo, Moose, this I'm holding there. Uh, don't let my body fail. Right, good stuff, man. Uh, but yeah, super, super good video. I really enjoyed that one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, like, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe for more content. We're getting super close to a thousand subs. So anyone that can subscribe to the channel, it really means a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next video.